Every morning I wake up and I meditate for 20 minutes. If I don't do this in the morning, it screws up my day. I, I won't be completely off everything. Like I won't just go and do every bad habit known to man, but I won't be as peaceful. I won't be as focused on what needs to get done. I won't be happy. It's honestly helped me so much with my mental health. It's helped me so much with just doing the right actions instead of taking the bad path. And if you watch this entire video, you'll understand why meditation helps with all of those different things. And I'll also give you a roadmap on how you can get consistent with meditation. Because 20 minutes, it's pretty hard to just get into it at the start. I'm four years into my journey, and I can get 20 minutes every morning consistent. But for you, you're going to want to start with some different method, which we'll get to later in the video. But first, what is meditation, and why does it give you these benefits? So... The best way I can describe meditation is from first principles, which means from just like base zero, the foundation. Meditation is basically focusing on a sense object for a period of time. And so what do I mean by sense object? So you know your senses, right? You can smell, you can see, you can hear, you can taste, you can feel, right? So those are your senses, but what's an object? An object is whatever you're sensing the object of your sense. And so if you're looking at your wall right now, you're looking at this video right now, the object of your sense of seeing is the video itself, right? And so the sense object is the video and then you're looking at it. And so right now, if you're looking at this video like me right now, you are focused on the sense object of the phone. And so with meditation, what you're trying to do is that you close your eyes or you can keep them open and you choose some sort of sense object to focus on and you set a timer. And throughout this practice, you wanna just keep bringing your attention and focus back to that sense object. And so the most popular one that people recommend is the breath. You feel the sensation of breathing, right? And I know it sounds weird, like you might have never thought of that before, like what do you mean the feeling of your breath? But if you were to really just start paying attention right now, you feel your breath expand in your stomach, right? You feel it go through your nose or out through your mouth or vice versa. You feel it and it's usually that you're feeling the air around your nostril or your mouth, like you're actually feeling the sensation of breath. And so the sense object is the breath and the sense is feeling in that way. But you could also do this if you have some mark on your wall or you have some something that you choose to focus on for this practice. The sense object is whatever that thing is and then you're literally focusing on that for this entire practice. So that's what meditation is. It's very, very simple. You know, like in much plainer terms, I'd just be like, yo, you're focusing on something for a period of time. That's all it is. And people will overcomplicate this. There's many other types of meditations, yes, but don't worry about it. You know, like if you're not doing a consistent amount of meditation, you really don't need to think much about the practice. All you need to think about is just showing up every day and attempting to do it because you will learn more about how to meditate by actually meditating than by just looking at videos on how to meditate. That is so true if anyone tells you otherwise if anyone tells you like no you got to read all these books and then you meditate or you need to listen to all my advice and all these videos and then you can meditate if anyone tells you that literally just stop listening to them block them out because i'm telling you right now after four years of experience you just got to find a way to show up to this practice every day that's the true game is the consistency so what is the roadmap on you getting to this 20 minutes a day? Because I'm telling you these benefits, I'm telling you this is what meditation is, and and I'll go even deeper into these benefits, you know? Like, I feel so calm after I meditate. And it's not just the 10 minutes after the meditation, but it's throughout the day. It's when I go and I have a social interaction, I talk to my friends, I feel so much more present with them. I feel like I'm looking at them and I'm just there in our conversation and nothing else exists. I think that is the most peak form of human experience is to be so present in wherever you are with someone else. I think that's in my opinion. You know, some entrepreneurs might say that the most peak human experience is one with their work, immersed with what they're doing. I think I per personally prefer like a social interaction with my friends, that feeling of being present. And so it helps a lot with that. And it also applies to work. It also applies to a sport. You'll get more immersed into it because think about it. 
you're practicing a focusing on one sense object. And so when you get used to that, when you get your when you train your mind to get used to that sense object, it will apply to the rest of your life when you have all these different objects of your sensations. And so this will just help in every other area. So what is the roadmap to actually getting into this? What is the practical? How do you do this? One tip that I really want to put on to you, which I've never heard anyone else talk about on the internet, is to throw away this concept of needing a routine. You know, like everyone talks about building your habits, building the stack, and those tips can really work. But if you've tried it before and it hasn't worked for you, then let me tell you something else. The other thing I'm going to tell you is that any time that you remember to meditate, just do it. It doesn't matter if it's at the same time every day. It doesn't matter if it's every morning, every night. If you just remember, you know, right before you sleep, just do five minutes of meditation. If you just remember when you're on a bus ride going to work or school, just close your eyes and like put on headphones or even keep them open. Act like you're listening to music and just meditate. Find these little gaps and just get into the habit of just meditating whenever you have time. Because what you'll find is that if you get more used to that system, then you can build a routine so easily. You'll just wake up and you'll almost want to meditate because you have this gap of time in the morning. And so just get used to this act of just throwing five minutes into meditation. Get used to opening your clock app on your phone, setting the timer to five minutes, and just sitting there and meditating. And even if it's not perfect, like I, I personally, I will just throw on these timers in random situations. And even if I don't actually do the meditation, I just threw on the timer anyways. Does that make sense? Like sometimes I'll be waiting for a friend and I'll just throw on the meditation and then randomly they'll show up and I'll just shut it off. Like, okay, like I didn't really meditate. Or other times I'll just like start the meditation and I won't even do the meditation. Like I'll get into something else. Like I'll just randomly remember like, oh wait, I should actually you know, like do this work task right now. This is a better use of my time. And, you know, sometimes that will be like a thought that brings you out of meditation. But my point here is that you just want to fit it in these random times. And then eventually you can build it into more of a routine. You can do the five minutes every morning and then you can expand it to 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. I personally, I used to, before I moved, I was part of the Zen Center where every Wednesday I would do an hour and a half of meditation in the evening with like 20 other people. And every Sunday I would do two and a half hours. And so I would do both of those throughout my week along with 20 minutes every single day. And so that's something to shoot for, something to aim for, but don't worry about it if you're not getting into it because five minutes of meditation a day is 10 times better than zero meditation. And then 10 minutes is like, I don't know, like 1.5x, let's say. So my point is, is that even if you do the five minutes, five minutes is just so much better than not meditating. And then doing more than five minutes, you will start to get more benefits, but not as much as not doing the practice at all and that, that gap when you get there. So this is just a quick video on how you can get into meditation and why I do 20 minutes every single morning. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to continue your learning binge, watch this next video and also hit the like, comment and subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.